Church, praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. My name is Jafet Nangal Dakaru. I'm a bona fide of Lantang North, Plateau State. With me, I'm in the company of my dearest wife, by name Faber Dakaru. And by her immediate right, it's her niece, Deborah. And next to Deborah, it's our daughter, Jocelyn Dakaru. And the last person is Pastor Helen Sambo. She's my aunt. Glory to God. <laughs> by, the, by the message of God, I want to appreciate God this very great day because of my wife. I'm not just celebrating my wife, but I wish I could carry her on my head every day to lift her from the soil. This great woman, I remember 2006 when we met in Lagos, then I was a Tokumbo driver. The first thing that happened when we went to eat in Apapa, you know, you know the normal Lagosian life, just wash and begin to eat. Then she held my hand, she said, let us pray. I said, if in Lagos you have ladies like this that still know God, then this is a material for marriage. So to cut the longest story short, over the years, when I was still single, there were challenges, but I never knew it was really a foundational thing. But when I got married to her, the forces became so, so, so glaring. Now, it came to the point that we're seeing like we're going to get this thing almost immediately, the thing will slip off. Now, it came to the point I was never a drunkard. I hated people that drinks. I always try, also tried to cancel my younger ones, my cousins. But at the end of the day, I became the, mil the chief militant of drunkenness. How? Now, by the message of God, I entered this year because last year I had an accident that almost claimed my life. Now, at every point in time prior to that accident, I had gotten jobs. When I mean jobs, one, I've worked with the number four citizen of this country. I've worked with the Senate wing. The last, very last mega job I got was in World Bank, but all these jobs slept off. If you notice me carefully, one of my identities is high. It's all as a result of the accident of last year. Now, when I came into this year, I said I needed to go to Mercy Land. Then my wife told me that, no, my dear, while you are away, we were in Jaws, we are enjoying Dakota. Now, the Dakota was all about when my mother in law, she's from Orthodox, but when she came across Divine Hand uh, Channel, she said, that I agree with this man. <laughs> and for my mother in law to agree with somebody, it means it is, the spirit is down to Hamaru. And all the networking was my wife. Because how the team pushed me, the juju pushed me, I had to like pack my wife back to the mother's house. We were in Abuja here, then I was in federal fire service. I don't know why, we just, I just walked out of the job. Nobody pursued me. That was how I lost that job. I was like that, like that. There was nothing good. And I don't start anything and finish it. As at present, I'm in school, National Open University, but at some point now, the school has stopped. But I, as I claim back my mandate on this great altar, the 23rd of February, I said everything must come back to life. So, Are you just sitting down? Give him a shout of praise. Deliverance is here. Can I hear your voice? Say it again and again. And have your seat. So what happened when you came here? So, I, the madness thing came again. It comes and go. It has came twice this year. January and February. Now the last one I was just wandering around. I didn't know where I was in Latvia. So my wife, when she, they didn't know where I was, and suddenly when I finally came back to consciousness and I called her that I was in the hospital, then she said, to, 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 that she has to run to Latvia. That was how she ran to Latvia that same day she had the call. 
She said, my dear, as I'm coming to life here, be preparing your mind that we're going to see Papa Omale, whether you like it or not. I said, my dear, I'm ready. Now, when she came, it was late. And immediately the next day, we left life here as early as possible. Now, when we came to this place, we were the last people that our names entered the list. This, the man holding the microphone was the one and one other pastor mommy there that, um, you know, put our name in and we were able to see Papa. But Papa, please, with your kind of permission, let me kindly invite mommy Helen, the pastor, let her join us. Well, on because the of time, just go okay, ahead. Sir. Yeah. So, now when we came here, on that fateful day, which was 19th first, on Monday, when Papa saw him, Papa said, this man, they want to kill you, sir. Already I came with an open mind. I said, Papa does not see me, as in if he must talk to me, tell me something. I needed to go to the next level, like we had. Papa now prayed for us. That same day, Papa was praying for us here on Monday in his office before the Thursday deliverance. Well, a professor in the Federal University in, in, in Lafia was already discussing a job for me with somebody. The same hour, sir. The same hour. The same hour. The same hour. We confirm it. We went and checked the call. The same hour. So, now we stayed till Thursday for the deliverance. Now, when it was Thursday, we were here early. And after that prayer, when Papa, I was the last person that Papa uh, ministered deliverance to here. After that deliverance, we went back. I, sent, I told my I'm not going back to Lafia. I'm going to Joss. Because my friend in Lafia, I'm not clear with his weight. We went straight from, uh, to Lafia, picked some things to Joss. Sir, reaching Joss, I told my wife, one, I don't want to have any problem again with you. I'm very, I'm just too extraordinarily happy with you. Secondly, everywhere I see joint, I feel like vomiting. Everywhere I see joint, for those of us that know just, then if I joint start, of what? Joint of alcohol, drinking spots. And if I see all these plastics of uh, uh, vicars or whatever, all these hot drinks, I want to pee by the vents. I will just, it will just do me as if I should just move away from that place. There's the way my, my body shivers. They became my enemies. And from that point, Normally, if I wake up in the morning, there's a jerk. If I feel the urge, like, Kai, today I need to go and, you know, clear, you know, do some things. So, the moment that urge comes, if I don't take it, it's like a cult. I have to go and take it. But to the glory of God today, I can't stay one week or two weeks, but to the glory of God today, I'm running almost into a month. No urge, nothing, nothing, nothing. Give the Lord a no. shout of praise. First, before we dance and celebrate this testimony, can we have a look of, our, uh, of his deliverance that Thursday? Oh, shalabarabarobo, mayalabado, mayabado, zalado, zalado, come here, come here. Romo shalado, shoromadaya, shorobara. That is the move of God. What you are saying, that is the move of the Holy Ghost. Anywhere Holy Ghost move us to, we move there. Yes. Who are you? Who are you operating in this body? What do you do to the destiny of this man? To kill him. Huh? Kill him. You want to kill him? Destroy him. To kill him and do what? Destroy him completely. Kill him and destroy him? Yes, sir. Why do you want to kill him and destroy him? He's a great man in his family. He's a great man? Yes. He's a great man in his family. He cannot keep any job at all. He cannot do what? Keep any job at all. He cannot keep any job at all. We inflicted him with madness. We inflicted him with spirit of alcoholism. You, you inflict him with insanity and alcohol. You give him the two. Why do you give him the two? Why do you do all of that to him? Why do you do all of that to him? Why do you do all of that to him? He will be a helper of a lot of destiny. Speak loud. You will be what? I don't want him to help anybody. You don't want him to have to help other people. What do you do at my age? Keep her away from him. Huh? We we'll keep her away from him. To keep her away from him. Mm. How do you keep him away? Let us be in our mother's house. Let him be wandering around. Let him be in, in his mother's house and be running away. That is what you have done to him. Who are you? Power 
Power from where? Power from where? From my father's house. From the father's house. Yeah. Madam, do you know him? Yes, I And do. how do you know him? It's my husband. It's your husband. Yes, and you poor have been married for how many years? 14 years. 14 years. Yes, sir. You, now you are living together? No, sir. You are not living together. I mean, and where do you live now? I'm in my mother's house. You are in your mother's house. Yes, what of him? He's just wandering. Wandering. Yes, you sir. see the devil. Okay? The devil was saying they are fitting with madness. When was that? Five years back. Five years ago. Yes. Okay? Your husband will be delivered now Amen. and you'll become a man. Amen. Come on. Come on. Yes. Come on. Yes. 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 Come on. Yes. Yes. Look at it. 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 Come on. Look at it. Come on. Yes. 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 You see how the giant, how the giant demon is coming out from this man. Come on. The spirit that make him to your mad five years ago, that make him a drunkard, they are living under the power of God. When the demon hear the voice of the Lord, he can't stand. That is the voice of the Lord. That is the voice of the Lord. Out now, come on, out, out, out now. Yes, you move the alcohol you give him. You put the alcohol, yes, yes, yes. Throw the bottle away, throw the bottle away. Yes, throw it away, throw it away, throw it away, throw it away, throw it away. Throw, throw it away. This man like alcohol so much. He like alcohol more than food, yes. okay? We collect the alcohol now, Amen. you will no longer Amen. like alcohol. Amen. If you see alcohol, you will be throwing up. Amen. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. You move it from his hand. You move it. And go. Go now. Go. 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 Go from the leg. Go from the leg. That is the end. Give the Lord a big hand. You know, listen. There is witchcraft. There is powers. There is powers. A child in his mother's womb, they know the sex. If it's a boy or a girl, they are aware. They see the star, and when they see the star, what they will do? They go after that star. That is why, don't fold your hand. That habit that you cannot stop, Satan is the cause. That habit that you cannot stop, that habit that brings disgrace to you, who is the cause? Witchcraft. That is why you have to be committed. And when you are about to be the best, when you are ordained to be the best in the family, Satan go after you. Satan doesn't go after people that doesn't have a star. Why you are suffering today is because you are a multi-billionaire. Why you are sick today is because you have a bright destiny. And devil doesn't want you to fulfill that destiny. Madam, you can see your husband is one of the best man. Yes, sir. Your husband, he likes to give. Yes, he likes to help people. Yes, sir. Amen. That's your sister? Huh? My niece. Okay, okay madam. Yes, sir. You know this man, he likes to give. Yes, sir. The only challenge that he used to have in the past was this alcohol. Yes, sir. If it's not this alcohol, it's a good man. Yes, I know. Okay, over to the wife. Madam, yes, sir. since that deliverance, how do you see your husband? Honestly, when, before the deliverance, let's say in, in, a, in a month, he must go out to drink twice. And when he go out to drink, you will not see him until after one week. And there will not be a particular place that my husband will lay his head. Anywhere he see is a place to lie down. So that is how it has been, sir. But after the deliverance? Nothing like that. After the deliverance? Nothing like that. Nothing like that. Now, you see the man, he appreciates the wife. That is why as a woman, pray, let God give you a good man. As a, as a man, pray, let God give you a good wife. If you marry a bad wife, it will be difficult with all your effort. It will be difficult for you to excel. This woman, if it's to abandon the husband, is stand by the man until that day. If you want your challenges to leave you, when you hear testimony like this, you celebrate God on behalf of that person. Now, I want us to stand on our feet. We are going to dance and celebrate God for the deliverance of our brother. Brother, you are going to dance with your wife. Amen. Okay. That's what someone that Jesus did do.
Give him a shout and have your seat. Sam, a new level for you. Amen. You are the best in the family. Amen. And that is why the enemy tried to take you out of your destiny. Yes, Lord. But I'm happy that you are back again. Amen. Do you know when, when Satan takes your star, when God wants to give you back, he gives you double. He gives you double. Testimony every day. Amen. Testimony every day. Amen. Madam, you are a good woman indeed. I've seen some women that abandon their husband. I've seen some men that abandon their wife. But you didn't abandon your husband. You are a good woman. Thank you, sir. The Lord bless you. Amen. And the Lord keep you. Amen. Sir, a new journey of life. Amen. Sir, the Lord told me, there is a seed that God wants you to sow. Okay, sir. Are you going to sow that seed? By the grace of God, sir. A seed... <laughs> You think I'm talking about money. I see. Amen. You will sow more. Amen. Amen. Okay. What the Lord is saying, the seed is that a seed to forgive your family members. Yes, sir. Forgive your brothers. Forgive your family members. Yes, that is a seed that God wanted to sow. Amen. A seed to forgive. It is done, sir. Forgive them. It is done, sir. The money that is coming, look after them. Amen. Amen. Madam, you too, God wanted to sow that seed. Forgive them. Yes, sir. Forgive them. It's a new beginning. Amen. The Lord bless you. Thank you sir. Amen. Thank you, sir. Jam your hands and celebrate them as they go back to their seat.